Hello Year 1, this is your Humanities lesson and today we're going to be learning about a very famous explorer called Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus was a famous explorer. In 1492, he sailed from Europe to America. He sailed across the huge Atlantic Ocean, not knowing where he was going to land. Christopher was born in 1451 in Italy. At that time, lots of people were building new ships to explore new lands. His father would buy and sell wool. And his first trip on the sea was when he was just 13 years old. Now Christopher learned to sail in a wooden ship with sails, just like the one in the picture. And he would find his way at sea by using the stars and the sun. He did go to live in Portugal and he sold maps with his brothers. Portugal is not too far away from Italy. To follow his dream, Christopher needed money, so the King and Queen of Spain gave him money to buy ships. He set sail on the 3rd of August 1492 with three ships. The people on the ships took it in turn to do the work and everybody had to sleep on the deck, that means in the open air. Christopher Columbus used a compass to help him find his way. This is a picture of a compass and it has a north, a south, an east and a west on it. The trip took them longer than expected and they got a bit scared. They could find no land, all they could see was sea. They started to run out of food and water and after 36 days one man spotted an island. It was in the Bahamas. This is just some interesting facts about Christopher Columbus. His biggest ship was less than 23 metres long. That children isn't very big at all. And before Christopher Columbus had been to America, no one had ever tried a potato or a tomato. The sailors ate stew made from salt, meat and bones. Right children, I'm going to watch a little video all about Christopher Columbus. Today we know what the world looks like. We've taken pictures of it from space. We know there are many countries, some far away, and that there are lots of different people. But for thousands of years, people didn't know this. It was only when explorers travelled to new places that they met each other. One of the most famous explorers was Christopher Columbus. He lived over 500 years ago. Columbus wanted to travel to China and India, countries known as the Indies, which were full of wealth. The Indies were in the east but Columbus thought it would be quicker to go west around the world. It was a journey into the unknown and would cost a lot of money. The King of Spain paid for three ships, the Pinta, the Nina and the Santa Maria. In 1492, Columbus set sail. A few months later, the crew spotted land. Columbus thought he had reached the Indies, but he was wrong. He'd found a part of the new world. Columbus became famous as the man who discovered new lands called the Americas. The King of Spain was happy, but the discovery was bad for people already living there. Spain sent soldiers to take over these new lands. They took the people's treasures like gold. Spain became very rich. The locals were treated badly and some were taken as slaves. Many people died because of some of the diseases brought from Spain. Today people disagree about Columbus. Some say he was a brave hero. Others say his discovery caused sadness for the people where he travelled. One thing we can say for certain 
is that finding the continent of America was a huge event for Europeans and that this is all down to Christopher Columbus. Right children, after watching that film, I would like you to log on to Purple Mash. And your activity today is that you are going to send an email to Christopher Columbus. Now, when you've logged into Purple Mash, something like that will come up. You have to make sure you log into Nottingham High School first. If you click on the to do's, you will see that I've already assigned you a, a task, which is send Christopher Columbus an email. Now, because I'm already logged into this, I have to do it a different way. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm going to click on Christopher Columbus and I'm going to scroll down here. So this is your task. I'm going to click on the one at the top. Now this email he's already sent you is from Christopher Columbus and it's called What Do You Know About Me? Dear class, my name is Christopher Columbus. I was an ex Italian explorer who first set sail in 1492. I discovered many new lands and had numerous adventures on the sea. Why do you think that I wanted to explore and find undiscovered lands? Yours sincerely, Christopher Columbus. So what you're going to be doing is writing a reply email, which is here. I'm going to click on that. And you can see you've already got something flashing. So I'm, we're going to start off by writing Dear Christopher. Remember, he has a capital letter for the name Christopher Columbus, comma. And then you're going to start a new line. And first of all, you could maybe tell him about you. So my name is Mrs. Baker. And I am a teacher at Nottingham High School. Full stop. So that's my very first sentence. Dear Christopher Columbus, my name is Mrs. Baker and I am a teacher at Nottingham High School. Now I've got to make sure that I answer the question, why do you think... I wanted to explore and find undiscovered lands. So why did he want to go exploring? Well, he loved, didn't he? He loved the ships. I remember he took his first um, adventure when he was 13. He probably wanted to find undiscovered lands because he, he was very inquisitive. He wanted to find out new things. So you have got to answer his question. Why did you think he wanted to go and explore and find undiscovered lands? So you can maybe start a new line and write your answers to him. When you've finished your email, think about how you're going to sign, sign off. That means say goodbye. So I would probably write something along the lines, I hope to hear from you soon, comma, Mrs. Baker. And then when I've got to the bottom, it says I can paint a picture. So you might want to paint a picture of a boat on the water, a picture of yourself. It's completely up to you. And then you can press OK when you finish with it. You know about these tools. These are all the pens. Uh, we've got pictures that you can add in here so you can have a bit of a play. And then when you're happy with your work, you can press the word send here. And that will send your work to me. That would be fantastic. Now, just going back to <clears throat> my PowerPoint, I just want to quickly show you some parts of a pirate ship. This is if you'd like to do some challenge work today. So, parts of a pirate ship we've got here the flag, which is remember it's called the Jolly Roger, the sail, the mast. The rigging, which is the ropes that climb up to the sails, the stern, the the bow, and the, a porthole, which is like a circular window. <clears throat> There's lots of different pirate ships. This one moved really quickly in the water. It was perfect for chasing other ships. 
This one's called the Sloop. This is a huge and heavy pirate ship. We would be able to carry lots of treasure and up to 20 cannons and 200 men. This one's called the Square Rigger. And these are what modern pirate ships look like today, much, much smaller, so they can move much quicker. Now, if you'd like to do the challenge activity, I would like you to log into Busy Things. Click on Key Stage 1, click on Year 1, scroll down to the bottom to My Assignments, and here I would like you to click on the box Parts of a Pirate Ship. You're really good at entering your name. Remember to use that capital letter. And what I would like you to do is label parts of the pirate ship. When you hover your mouse over these, it will say the name. That says the word anchor. Now, anchor is that really heavy bit that you can sink into the into the water and it makes the boats not move. Now the anchor is there, I can give you the first one. So you hold it down, drag it across, anchor there. Let's have another look. Can you remember the name of that flag? That's right, the Jolly Roger. So you're going to drag that over there. So when you finish all your labelling, it will give you the option to save your work. I would really like you to do that. So for your lesson today, I would like you to send Christopher Columbus an email. And then if you'd like to, you can do your work on busy things, parts of a pirate ship. Have fun today, year one.